Yo, 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 what up, world? It's your boy LA, man, coming to you with another real life shit segment. Uh, I just watched, man, I seen this shit on, 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 on this dude page, you know, yeah, sure, he was talking about it on uh, Facebook. And, but it, it was, you know, bits and pieces of the shit. I just sat here and watched the whole hour and four minutes, 36 seconds of this shit. Of uh, uh, the this case where down in Florida of uh, these three young guys, three young black guys killed three uh, teen, they teens and they killed three other teenagers, two of them white girls. And one is uh, look like an Asian, an Asian boy. The, the Asian dude had a lot of money, or, or both of them had some money, and they was trying to buy a pound of weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? They was going to the trap house, hanging out with Rob and Three Five and and Taj, known as X Men, and uh 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 uh. uh, uh X Men. Um, who else? X Men. Uh, they called the other nigga Rob Reaper, and and Taj. Uh, I mean the other dude. Uh, they call him Three Five. I forgot his name, but. <coughs> 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 Shit, man. Man, when I when I was watching this video, man, man, like, man, that that's that shit, boy. I say, man, damn. When they was talking to the uh, the victims, uh, guardians, the grandmother, the father, the boy, and, and the mother, the girl Camille, the grandparents of the girl Layla, and I heard all of their cries, man, burst out in sh like distraught over the phone, man. Like nobody likes to, man. I I I I don't. You never want to hear. It's enough hearing a person die from a overdose or a fatal accident or a car accident or they die from some type of illness or disease or something like that that shit already is 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 heart wrenching man to hear somebody die of you know a, a, a unwanted cause that that sometimes they can't control you know like with illnesses and shit like that <sighs> but to be killed to be killed by a demon and I say demon because I don't look at them as little boys I don't look at them as teenagers I see three demons I don't give a fuck what color their skin is that's not what I see I'm, but I'm 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 gonna paint y'all a picture of something real quick. On an everyday basis, it's what I want y'all to look at on an everyday basis, right? Tell me which goes on more. You will see a deranged, crazy white dude, young white dude middle-aged white dude or whatever 
go and shoot up a whole goddamn uh, 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 store or a church or a school or some shit like that. Or they may just target certain people like that boy just shot them people in that uh, in that school. I don't condone what he did. But here's the thing. When I looked at that boy picture, I say, man, that boy looked like they 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 he was being bullied. He looked like cause when they showed the people that he killed that he killed, it was a it was I think it was two teachers and two other kids or some shit like that. And so that could be a thing of them boys was probably bullying that boy and he probably went and told them teachers and them teachers didn't do a goddamn thing about it. And he probably told his parents. Parents probably didn't do shit about it. So he took matters into his own hands and said, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm finna kill these motherfuckers. So he had a straight motive behind the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because the, looking at that boy, I'm like, mm, something was some. They was doing something to that boy because he looked like he been touched. Like seriously, and you know, if they, if the if the teachers didn't been touching on that boy or something. Or them kids been bullying that boy. Bullying is a fucked up thing to go through, man. I went through it. I was on my way to committing suicide when I was 14 because I was being bullied. You see what I'm saying? So I know about bullying, man. But being bullied when you're young will drive you to doing some fucked up shit, man. So you got to really catch yourself and say, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even do that shit. I thought about killing motherfuckers that was bullying me. I'm not gonna bullshit you. You know what I'm saying? I thought about doing some some horrific shit to their ass. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like, what the fuck are you fucking with me for, motherfucker? I didn't do shit to you. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta look at a lot of these children out here, man. These teenagers. That grow up and they probably go through a lot of bullying in school and then they fucking snap. And then they go on a haywire and they just start killing motherfuckers. That's understandable. I don't condone this shit, but it's understandable. You see what I'm saying? And when you see and when they and when they arrest them, them, them boys, they don't be crying and shit. They just have a straight face like, you should have stopped fucking with me. It's like they they know. They know what they did. And they they can, they, it's like, when they get arrested, they ain't trying to fight. They ain't trying to say, I ain't, I ain't do it. No. They let you know, this is why I did this. It's something fucked up inside of me. You see what I'm saying? I, I did this. And they, they have a straight ass face on their picture, on their uh, 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 mug shot and everything. You did? So here's my thing. Because I know people going to say something. Uh, with these white boys be going out here and doing massive killings. Yeah, they might have a motive behind that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like I say, I don't condemn it, but you never know who may have been fucking with them boys or who may have driven them boys to doing that shit. On the, in cases like this, on an everyday basis, mass, mass killings and shit of young white boys is not being done on an everyday basis. But killings like these motherfuckers committed, robberies, of innocent bystanders, innocent people, because you want money and material gain, that's these little young niggas out here. You see what I'm saying? That's happening on an everyday basis. It may you may find rare cases where 
a white dude robs somebody and shit of some shit like this. I rarely hear of it. Not saying that it don't happen, but I rarely hear of it. I stay in the hood. Rarely do I hear of robberies being committed by uh, young white dudes. That's not what I heard. Or robberies being committed by young white girls. That's not what I hear on an everyday basis. What I hear on an everyday basis is people who look like me that's brown colored robbing their own people or they're robbing other people on an everyday basis. On an everyday basis. Little young niggas out here. Or maybe an older nigga. But when the niggas get caught, these niggas act like they ain't this shit. Niggas, they, they got the evidence pointed out directly at you. There's no getting out of this. You're busted. You kill, y'all kill three innocent people just because they had some money and y'all stole their car. And y'all was hanging out with them. So that goes to show you what type of piece of shit y'all are. Because y'all was hanging out with the motherfuckers, but then decided. They had a lot of money. See, killing somebody that fucks with you, I would be more understanding to that. Because you can grow tired of that shit. Killing a person for a material gain, you're a piece of shit. They got some shit called KTM. Cutthroat Mentality. That's what it stands for. If anybody in this world has a cutthroat mentality, you're a demon. You have no place on this fucking earth. I hope them boys spend the rest of their life in prison, man. And get their booty holes busted wide open. And whatever else happens to them. Because them are pieces of shit. When I heard them motherfucking uh, 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 families bust out in tears like that, man, that shit damn near made me cry. Because I just recently went through something like that, man. It's not my child, but it's my little cousin, man. My little cousin was murdered. And I can just imagine... My big cousin, her mama, and her father, I can just imagine the call that they fucking got telling them that they child had been murdered by a coward-ass, bitch-ass motherfucker. Man, I don't know what is like. See, this is what I'm trying to get at, man. Like I said before, man, on one of my videos, us as a black people of whole, as a whole, we always want to say, we always want to point the finger at the finger at the so-called white man and say, damn, why they won't let us get ahead in life? Or why they won't give us this and give us that? You, you're not giving shit. You got to earn it. You got to work for it. Regardless of what your skin color may be. But I find it very irritating that I see mainly black people and young black men 
that be crying about, oh, they won't give us this, they won't give us But I see more so young black men on an everyday basis going to jail for stupid shit like this. And then y'all, yeah, it's, this is the thing. Y'all listen to this music I heard that these niggas put out and none of them niggas is gangster. Being gangster is not running around shooting motherfuckers, robbing motherfuckers, selling dope. That's not gangster, my nigga. Being gangster is knowing who you are, standing on your ground, protecting yourself, your family, and whatever you stand for in life that is good. That's gangster, man. Ain't no gangster in doing no cowardly ass shit. By, sh by shooting three innocent motherfucking teenagers that y'all hung out with. And, they, they, and they, they trying to spend money with you motherfuckers in your trap. Which y'all was so-called hanging out at. They trying to spend money with y'all. And y'all rob them. And kill them. This shit happens on an everyday basis with our niggas out here, man. Think about this shit. I don't think you motherfuckers is, is really grasping this shit. Because like I said, man, on an everyday basis, ain't no young little white boy teenagers running around the hoods robbing niggas and shooting at motherfuckers, man. I'm trying to open you motherfuckers' eyes to something, man. Uh, but uh, are y'all even seeing this shit? Cut the fucking weird ass her dudes off your head. Cause every time I see that shit, I be like, damn, it be niggas with weird ass fucked up her dudes and call themselves gro growing dreads and shit. Like this is a that 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 shit. Like you're not growing dreads because. It's a thing that you want to feel good about yourself. You drawing, you growing that shit because it's monkey see monkey fucking do. Oh, this nigga got some dreads. I'm gonna draw him. I'm gonna grow mine. Most niggas I be seeing, like I just seen, I just seen, I just seen a video of it was, it was a mixed dude. White girl and a mixed black chick, and they all in the hotel. I don't know where they at, but it's a nigga with some big ass, funky looking ass dreads on his head trying to take their motherfucking kids, man. And then the nigga sat there on the floor. This girl was trying to fight this nigga off. She's huffing and puffing and wheezing and shit. And, and, and her man is standing behind her, the mixed dude. He want to beat the nigga ass. But the, 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 the uh, uh, people of the, of the hotel, they trying to protect the nigga. Yeah. The, 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 the motherfucking uh, hotel manager standing in between them and the nigga. Why are you trying to protect this man from getting his ass whooped from trying to kidnap somebody, kid, man? I wish I was there. I That, that motherfucker, I would have ripped all that nigga's scalp off like the Indians do. Like our brethren. I have Indian blood in me. Yes, I do. You see what I'm saying? I would have scalped that nigga. And then, no. You trying to kid, and it's a nigga. People. Our people are making us look bad. You cannot point the finger at no other motherfucking race. When we are constantly sitting out here doing, our people are constantly sitting out. I'm not, but I'm saying as a whole, because I'm part of my people. And that shit makes us look bad. 
You got motherfuckers like Diddy. Is something wrong with you, man? For you to sit there and act like you did nothing wrong. It's really, it's, it, 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 it's, it's really baffling to me, man. Is that, here's the thing. If I go out here and do some dirt, okay? If I go out here and do some dirt and I get caught, it's on me. I'm accepting the dirt that I did. I'm not finna try to put the blame on nobody else. Or none of that shit. Any dirt that I have done in my past, I have convicted myself for. Under, under the most high, I have convicted myself. I did my share of dirt when I was young. But I grew from that shit, man. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't never killed no motherfucking body, man. I might have beat a motherfucker ass trying to rob a motherfucker. I did my dirt. But, man, I'm going to tell y'all, man. When I did that shit, man. Man, that shit, that shit ate me, it ate me for years. Because I was only doing the stupid shit to get initiated into a gang. I had to rob a motherfucker to be initiated into a gang. You see what I'm saying? After I did the shit, I felt fucked up. I felt bad. You see what I'm saying? I never robbed none of my people. I robbed another white person. You see what I'm saying? Yes, because I had a lot of hate towards the motherfuckers back then. But I don't feel that way no more. Because I know the truth now. I know what our people did from the beginning of time. And I know what we're going with, what we're still doing now. You cannot ask these people to stop hating you when y'all constantly hating each other. Y'all out here robbing and killing motherfuckers. And then y'all it's like y'all want to be gangster. Y'all playing that Grand Theft Auto shit. Y'all want to be gangster and shit, right? Y'all think that's gangster. But when the shit is, when the truth is hitting you right in your motherfucking chest, you niggas can't confess up and say, you know what? I did it. Yeah, I did it. I did, I did that dirt. I did that. You can sit there and try to lie to the investigators all you want. But God gonna always know what you did, partner. That's why I can't do no wrong to nobody never again in my life. I won't. That was the last bit of me. And that shit, I did that at 13. You see what I'm saying? That was it. That was it. After that, I I, I, it, my, my, I walked around with my conviction. Not convicting myself. So God said, unless you convict yourself, shame on you. I'm going to let you suffer. You ain't going to, you going to get up and then I'm going to bring you back down. Every time it seemed like I was getting further in life, I got shot back down because it was something I did wrong. God will let you know, man, when you're doing wrong. See, God ain't talked to these boys yet because they ain't trying to find them. They trying to, the, the evidence is pointing them directly in their face and they still in denial like they didn't do shit. And then they all supposed to be partners, but they snitching on each other. That's what y'all call gangster. But y'all in the interrogation room, y'all crying. But that's gangster, right? I, I, I ain't killed nobody. 
That's gangster, right? Ain't no gangster in that, man. Cutthroat mentality, remember? So if you live by a cutthroat mentality, this is what my father always told me. He say, son, always remember this. The life you lead is the life that you going to for surely die in. That shit always stuck with me. You want to live a, a street life, men and gangs and shit? I watch niggas around me die. One of my partners trying to be, be initiated to a gang shot himself in the motherfucking head. Y'all don't understand what that shit really means, man. Y'all, a lot of you niggas I heard, y'all grow up, y'all, y'all, y'all young, and y'all start claiming shit. I watch the shit around me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just want to claim shit because y'all think it's cool. Y'all want to know the reason why I, I wanted to join the game? Because I felt like nobody in my family loved me. I was always mistreated, all type of shit. My mama bought me shit, but that's not love, my nigga. Y'all don't understand the abuse I went through as a child. You would think that a, it, it, with the shit I went through, my mama tried to kill me, nigga. Y'all understand me? She tried to smother me with a fucking pillow. And then when my stepdaddy rolled his wheelchair in her and got her off of me, she went in the bathroom and told me, she flushed the toilet. She said, I wish I would have dropped you in the toilet when you was born. Y'all understand, man? That would drive a motherfucker to want to kill motherfuckers, don't you think? But no. I had a heart, man. I had a heart. God gave me a heart of pure rubies. Fuck platinum, fuck gold, fuck silver. He gave me a ruby heart, man. He said, I'm not finna let your heart diminish like that. I wanted to kill a lot of people, boy, growing up because of how they did me. Y'all don't understand. The, 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 the countless of murders that I could have committed. I would have got away with it in the streets because I know how to get rid of people and get away with it. But guess what? I'm not going to get away with it with God, man. You never, you never is going to get, excuse me, you never is going to get away with nothing you do wrong. He watching over you, man. I'm telling you. I don't know. Whatever happened to them, them, them little dudes, they deserve it. Because I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm Hearing those those parents screams, man, when they tell them their kids is dead, man. Somebody killed them for material gain. Y'all gotta backtrack y'all minds, man. Y'all gotta backtrack y'all minds. Because Killing people for material gain, man. All you going to gain is what you gain from that that death of that person. You're not gaining your soul. Your soul is going to be corrupted. I'm here to tell you. When you kill a person, man, your soul will be corrupted forever. If you ain't killing a person by defense only, 
and or somebody and then then hurt your hurt somebody in your family. Like I heard the father, he say, "What am the motherfucker say? I'm gonna keep my he killed my baby boy." He said, "I'm gonna kill him." Yeah, I would too. I would probably want to go to prison just to kill him. Because you done took part of my life from me, man. When somebody takes your child, you done took they you done took you done took their life away, man. You get you can't there, there ain't no coming back from that. You done kill somebody's child. Are y'all understanding me, man? Y'all done took somebody's children away for materialistic gain. That's what a lot of niggas is doing out here on an everyday basis. I'm not, I'm not seeing... Young white dick, one young young white dudes rare constantly robbing people <coughs> and killing people, man. <coughs> it's my own my own people. I, I I gotta live around this shit, man. I gotta live I gotta live in this shit. I don't understand, man. I gotta live around this shit. I'm not afraid of these. I'm not afraid of no motherfucking uh 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 no white dude and shit uh trying to rob me and shit. I'm afraid of my own motherfucking people, and I'm tired of this shit. I gotta watch the hand of my own people more than I gotta watch the the the, the hand of another race. But y'all keep pointing the finger. Shut the fuck up, man. Stop this bullshit. Self-conviction, man, is the only way. Everybody has to have self-conviction. So I'm telling you right now, if you're going around and you know you're doing dirt to people, ain't no good going to come to you. If you're robbing people, if you're out here killing people, and you think you're getting away with it, ain't no good gonna come to you. I'm delivering you a message right from the Most High. He telling me, ain't no good gonna come to you. Ain't no good gonna come to you. So you might want to change up what you do, people, whoever heard this video, and not be these three young fools uh, that's that that's threw their lives away as teenagers. They done. They done. Like, I would just get rid of them, just throw them in a pit full of alligators. I'm sorry. Like, I, I like, that shit, bro, that shit hurt my heart, man, when I heard heard them them, them, them families crying like that, man. And it, it still, uh, 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 you know, got my heart, uh, like, fucked up right now. Because I'm like, them, 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 them kids didn't deserve that shit, man. Just like my little cousin, man, she ain't deserve that shit, man. I lost a lot of family members to stupid murderers. You know? They ain't deserve that shit, man. <sighs> well, this your boy, L.A., man. I hope, man, that somebody, man, heard this video. And, man, y'all got brothers and sisters, man. It, like, the, the females, the black females out here robbing motherfuckers now, man. I don't see I don't see, I don't see no little young white girls ski masking up nigga and robbing motherfuckers. But I done seen videos of young black girls ski masking up and robbing motherfuckers. Yeah, that's the that's very fucking disturbing. Very disturbing, man. That this is what has camp has come to with my people, man. Like a lot of y'all just out here robbing and stealing people's cars, joyriding them and shit, man. And 
And then when somebody kill you motherfuckers, then they family's like, why you kill my, my, my son or my daughter? Well, motherfuckers shouldn't be stealing shit out of my crib or stealing my car or whatever. Uh, you know, these females, uh, black females out here set motherfuckers up. <coughs> Latino females out here set motherfuckers up. Not saying that the white girls ain't doing it or the Asian girls ain't doing it, but I'm telling you what I see more of. That's what I'm talking about. What I see more of, I would talk about uh, if I seen more Asian females and Asian dudes doing this shit. But that's not what I see more of. I see more of my own people doing this shit, man. Yeah, I got to get some get right, man. The only way you can do that, <laughs> stop pointing the finger and convict self. You have to convict yourself, man. You have to look inside yourself and say, damn. I have done this wrong in my life. God, can you help me change this? I don't want to be that person anymore. Change for the better, man. Or remain the same man and person in the, in the midst of the darkness, man. That's all I can tell y'all, man. This your boy LA, man. I'm out this batch. Yeah, sir. Batch.